in a sea of superhero films, which ones are the best ever made? Hey everyone. Good job. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're concluding our series of the best superhero films ever with our final countdown of the top 10 superhero films of all time. I can't tell if you're joking or not. He's being fully serious. In case you haven't been following, we've been counting down the best superhero films from the classic era, the 90s, the 2000s, and 2010s. Today, our series draws to a close as we pick the very best of the best. But if one of your favorites doesn't make it here, be sure to check out those past lists to see if they made the cut. Maximum effort. Number 10, X2. While the first X-Men movie undoubtedly kicked off the modern superhero film era, X2 set the gold standard for the genre. After an attempt on the president's life, the X-Men must form an uneasy alliance with Magneto in order to track down the perpetrator, the mutant-hating extremist named William Stryker. Who are you? Don't you remember? Whereas the first film introduced audiences to the powers of the X-Men, the sequel turns them into a team you want to root for. We're here to stay, Mr. President. Peppered with moments of intense action and heartfelt emotion, the film takes viewers on a roller coaster of thrills before X-Men 3 completely ruined it for everyone. Don't let it control you. Number 9, The Incredibles. Pixar is known for family-friendly affairs, and while The Incredibles is definitely fun for all ages, it proved that the mega-successful company could tackle subjects and genres far removed from the traditional kids' movie fare. Mounting public backlash has forced superheroes into early retirement. But when the villainous syndrome concocts a plan that threatens the world, it's up to a family of retired supers to save the day. It's a whole family of supers! Looks like I've hit the jackpot! Oh, this is just too good! The film possesses a level of self-awareness that was rarely seen in the genre up to that point. Part James Bond spy thriller, part Avengers-style crime-fighting epic, The Incredibles has a little something for everyone. Taking home the Oscar for Best Animated Feature, this superhero flick even made it onto Empire's 500 Greatest Films of All Time. On peace and happiness, soon all will tremble before me! Number 8, Guardians of the Galaxy. The MCU had already proven that they could take seemingly unworkable comic book properties and turn them into smash hits with the likes of Thor. Another. But nobody would have suspected that one of their most obscure and disjointed jumble of characters from their backlog could result in one of the year's biggest box office triumphs. Four billion units! Rock it! Come on, man! Hey, suck it up for one more lousy night and you're rich! Fantastic casting? Check. Insanely entertaining fight scenes? Check. A talking raccoon with a talking tree sidekick? Double check. Yeah. A visual treat that never misses an opportunity to crack a joke. This film was a massive hit with fans and critics alike. Feeling like a throwback to the campy superhero films of the 70s and 80s, it has just the right amount of modernity to connect with younger viewers. A barn burner that isn't afraid to take chances, Guardians exemplifies the characteristics of what a superhero film could and maybe should be. We are Number seven, Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Here's where it all began, folks. The film that took a B-list comic book character and turned him into a household name overnight. And is also the film that made the MCU the most powerful force at the box office today. You've been called the Da Vinci of our time. What do you say to that? Absolutely ridiculous, I don't paint. A near-death experience causes billionaire genius Tony Stark to shed his childish ways and become Iron Man, a superhero that uses a highly advanced weaponized suit to fight evil. My turn. In the role that he was born to play, Robert Downey Jr. brings exactly the right amount of sarcastic bravado necessary to convince audiences that this is one superhero worth the price of admission. Whether you were a fan of the comics or simply gave in to the hype, one thing is certain, Iron Man was a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Number six, Batman. I'm Batman. Tim Burton's classic, grim take on the Dark Knight was the perfect way to capture the revival that the once campy character had received during the 1980s. Tell me something, my friend. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? What? Considered a myth, Batman comes out of the shadows in order to stop the psychopathic criminal mastermind known as the Joker. <laughs> Batman! 
the film received a fair amount of controversy during production, with many unconvinced by the casting of Michael Keaton as Batman. However, upon release, it broke the opening weekend box office record. Nicholson's maniacal performance, Keaton's stoic reserve, and Burton's unique storytelling and imagery turned Batman into a certifiable classic. Gritty and entertaining, the Caped Crusader captured the world's attention and spawned a number of sequels. There's a challenge. Kill the bat! Sounds like a good idea, but have you thought it through? Number 5. The Avengers They said it couldn't be done. The ambitions were too high, there were too many characters, too many films to have seen beforehand, and there was simply no way that this big of a project could ever work. They were wrong. Being one of the most anticipated superhero flicks in history isn't easy, but the Avengers more than lived up to the task. Stark, you got the perimeter. Anything gets more than three blocks out, you turn it back or you turn it to ash. You give me a lift? Right. Better clench up, Legolas. Currently sitting at number five on the list of highest grossing films of all time, it's safe to say that this formula definitely worked. A benchmark in the superhero genre, this movie dared to dream a little bigger and consequently knocked it out of the park. Listen well, brother. Hi. I'm listening. Number 4. Spider-Man 2 Hang on! If it ain't broke, don't fix it. After the success of Spider-Man two years earlier, it came as no surprise to anyone when Sam Raimi returned to helm the sequel. How'd you do that? Uh, work out, plenty of rest, you know, eat your green vegetables. That's what my mom is always saying. I just never actually believed her. This time around, Peter Parker must try to coexist with his superhero alter ego while battling Dr. Octopus, a scientist who, after a failed experiment, is left insane and fused to a set of mechanical tentacles. <laughs> Filled with the same frenetic action as the original and delving deeper into the complex character that is the New York City web slinger, this film nearly broke the box office when it was first released. Who can forget the scene of Spidey holding back a train with nothing but a couple of webs and powerful face muscles? This film definitely deserves a spot in the pantheon of great superhero flicks. Cool Spidey outfit. Thanks. Number 3. Captain America Civil War Captain America? Mr. Lang. <laughs> it's an honor. I'm shaking your hand too long. With all the hype around one of the most notorious storylines in Marvel Comics, this film had some pretty big expectations to live up to. Luckily, the Russo brothers returned, bringing the same level of action and humor that made their previous film, The Winter Soldier, a success. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? When the Avengers become divided, separated by the differing ideologies of Steve Rogers and Tony Stark, audiences are given some of the best superhero action of all time. Earning near universal praise, the film takes a mature approach to the superhero genre by broaching a number of complex subjects that hadn't been addressed previously. Grossing over a billion worldwide, everyone and their grandmother seems to have enjoyed this superhero flick. He's my friend. So was I. Number 2. Superman the Movie You do not remember me. I am jor -El. I'm your father. While RDJ may be inseparably linked to the Iron Man character, long before he ever powered up his arc reactor, there was another star who was the face of a classic hero. Golly, that doesn't seem to make sense. The world doesn't make sense, Kent. You ought to know that by now. The quintessential superhero film for years to come, Christopher Reeve's portrayal of Superman is not just a classic of the genre, it's a classic of the cinematic medium. A brilliant balance of action and humor, this movie was beloved by audiences and critics alike. Hi there. Nothing wrong with the elevator? <laughs> Nominated for three Academy Awards and pulling in a cool 300 million at the box office, The Man of Steel did not disappoint. The catalyst from which all other superhero films basically emerged, Superman sparked a trend that is still going strong today. Okay, kids, it's all right now. Hey, it's Superman. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions.
Number one, The Dark Knight. Hi. Come on, you saw this one coming. Part gritty crime drama, part bombastic action film, part brilliant character study, The Dark Knight was truly a complete package, and it takes the top spot for reasons too long to fit into one video. Ha, ooh, he, ha, ha, and I thought my jokes were bad. Having established himself amongst the city's criminal underworld, Batman must now do battle for the soul of Gotham against the ultimate agent of chaos, Heath Ledger's iconic Joker. <laughs> I, I don't want to kill you. What would I do without you? Unfolding in a flurry of brilliant action sequences, this film is more than just a great superhero movie. It is THE superhero movie. Beloved by audiences and critics alike, the film was nominated for eight Academy Awards and is our pick for the best superhero film of all time. Why so serious? Do you agree with our list? Well, let's put it to a vote. Yeah. What do you think is the best superhero film ever? For more super-powered top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. The Dark Knight.